Hi, I'm Danny from ManicAmerican.com. I'm a photographer, but I shoot film, not digital. Many people ask me, Dan, you shoot film, that's really cool, but what do you do with all your negatives? What do you do with all the photos? How do you keep track of them? We don't really understand anymore how in 2009, almost 2010, a film photographer works. So here's a little video to give you an example of what exactly I do after I shoot all my film. I bring my film to developers I trust in the Upper East Side of Manhattan. I don't get prints made. I don't have anything like that done. All I ask them to do is develop only. They don't cut the film. They don't make any prints or anything. So I don't need stacks and stacks and stacks of prints everywhere when, you know, I shoot a lot. I have a printer scanner over here. So I'll scan the negatives into my computer. And that way, I'm able to see exactly what I have. I don't have all the prints hanging around. And then... Well, I know exactly which shots I want blown up or to frame or, you know, submit to a gallery or post online. I can do it that way. It's almost like reverse engineering a digital photograph, but what can I say? I love shooting film. I love being able to actually touch the physical photo. And it's great to have, you know, or double redundancy backup. So I have the online version and the actual physical copy. So I'll take the film and then... I'll stretch it out a little bit. I can preview it by looking at it in the light so we can see exactly which roll it is. It's from Moorhead City, North Carolina. Rob and I had a competition to see who could shoot the most miserable shot out in Moorhead. So this would be a fun roll to uh, work with today. So now that I know what I'll be scanning, I'll roll the film back up, treating it carefully, not touching the actual photographs, just the outsides of it. make it a little easier to work with. At this point, I'll give you a little look at the tools that I use. Scissors for cutting the film itself. I don't use I don't use these scissors for anything else. It keeps them clean, sterile. I even keep them in the packaging. Dust cloth. Clean up the negatives, clean up the scanning tray. In the scanning tray, I put the film inside of this. It holds six frames at a time. So, you know, I cut the strip of film into roll segments of six. I scan them, and we go from there. Let's zoom in, and I'll show you how I, scan, how I cut it exactly. I take the scissors out of the case, and essentially I just roll the film out in front of me, so, I, you know, I can count it easily. Having scanning bed helps so I can really see which is six, especially for the first segment, which will have a lot of just blankness from when you first wind the film up. So generally, the first roll, the first segment that I scan, is only three photos and then some blank space. So I'll lay out the roll of uncut film before me, count out the first three frames and all the extra space, and make the first cut. This is always a little nerve-wracking because you never want to actually cut the actual photograph because it will really screw up that one and the one next to it. The colors bleed together and it really shows in the frame how, you know, it was cut. So you always want to be careful and a little cautious with this. You want plenty of lighting to work with, which we have today, so that's very good. So I make the cut. Inspect the film to make sure they didn't actually cut the negatives, which I really don't because I do this a lot, so it's not a problem, but it's still something I want to, want to keep an eye on. So then you take the negative strip, you load it into the film loader. This being the first roll, there's always a little bit of extra cutoff, so I can just trim off the edge what's not going to be used. It's just blank roll of film. And we don't need it. See, this is roll 4710, if you're interested. Line the negatives up correctly.
putting in the holder piece of the film loader, at which point we take out the dust cloth. And then with the dust cloth, wipe down the negatives carefully, making sure your finger doesn't actually touch but only the cloth itself. Take any excess dust off of the negative. Then you do the same for the scanner bed. Now wipe it off and make sure there's no dust because it will really show and you'll have to rescan and do this again. Once that's clean, take the scanner loader, place it into the scanner, and then this is where the fun begins. Right now the scanner is giving me a preview of what the shots will look like. Alright, so now the preview images have loaded. So you can see exactly what they are. Hit the correct settings. And then scan. Depending on what else I'm doing on my computer and the quality film and the, you know how large I want the file to be, each photo scan can take three minutes each, five minutes each, sometimes up to half an hour if I really want high quality. So it usually helps with something else to do, whether you're reading online articles, working on a blog post, what have you. It's this repeated as many times over for as much film as you have. Scanning a whole roll, it'll usually take about an hour and a half to two hours, depending. So if you have like an afternoon off, a night at home, that's the best time to do it in. So right now I'm just waiting to see what we get. While I'm waiting for the first roll to scan, that's when I'll usually cut up the rest of the negative sheet into individual rolls of six. There's no real reason to show you me cutting the entire roll up, but I will show you another section or two just to give you an example of how it works and the process it goes through. So I lay out the negatives to about six, seven, or eight or so, count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then get ready to make the cut. Like a carpenter, measure twice, cut once. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you make the cut. And you continue to do that for the entire roll. Ah, I see that the first photo is scanned into my computer, so now I'll preview it so I can see exactly what it looks like. Pull up the file, and there you go. There's the photograph. Okay, the first trip is finished scanning, so this is how I keep all my negatives safe and in archive condition. Take them off the scanning bed. And then each roll is kept in an archival polymer sleeve, I guess you can really call it a page. I slide it in. And then give you an idea. This is what a full page will look like. That's one roll of film. This would be the roll we're working on right now. Kept in this archival binder, dust safe, air safe, I keep everything temperate, I don't want anything being screwed up. And that is how the film is stored. You've seen how the film is scanned from the computer. And yeah, that's how a film photographer works in the year 2010. This has been Dan Mead from ManicAmerican.com. I hope you enjoyed this photo lesson, and please visit the website for more information. Have a good day.